Is the Juiced Cross Current X the right e-bike for you? Find out next. Welcome to the channel. We are Liz Amazing and Paul. These are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you will certainly live amazing if you get an e-bike, but it's important to get the right e-bike. And today I'm going to do a review on my Juiced Cross Current X that I've had for about 18 months and I've put a little over a thousand miles on it. Now, as many of you know, we are full-time RVers. We've been on the road for 18 months and e-bikes are the perfect fit for this lifestyle. They're great for running errands and exploring, but we have talked to people who've bought the wrong e-bike. So whether or not the Juiced Cross Current X is for you or not, we just want to let you know that we made another video that's all about how to find the right e-bike for you. And it's all about the components of e-bike shopping. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll put a link. It'll be over Paul's head. So let's just get into the bike itself. They call it a commuter bike. I call it a touring bike, but it's a 750 watt geared hub motor. It's a 52 volt, 19.2 amp hour battery and it has a nine speed cassette on the rear and a uh, single chain ring up front. The bike comes with a headlight, a 1050 lumen headlight that is powered from the onboard battery. It also has a tail light. The tail light requires batteries. You'll have to change the uh, AAA batteries occasionally. And it also comes with fenders, which I removed. What I like about it most is the range and speed that it's capable of. With the 19.2 amp hour battery, conservatively I can do 60 miles on the bike. The top speed that I've reached on it is 34.9. I have just never been able to push past that into the 35 mile an hour zone, mainly because I run out of gears. I just can't spin the cranks fast enough to get 35 miles an hour out of it. 34 miles an hour on a bicycle feels like 60 miles an hour on a motorcycle. So let's talk about who is the ideal person for this bike. Somebody like me that likes to go fast. I'm an old, emphasis on old, <laughs> road cyclist. I've been riding for 30 plus plus years and about two years ago I made the switch to e-bikes but I still like to do long rides and I like to ride into hilly sections. The Cross Current X fits all of those bullet points perfectly. So it sounds like if you like to cruise, if you want to go fast, so maybe this is a good bike to commute to work. Yeah, it would be a good commuter bike and that's what they classify it as. You could easily do you know, 20 miles each way and, and not have to charge it until you got it home. You wouldn't have any issues with range. This bike is equipped with pedal assist with five levels of assist. It also has a thumb throttle. The thumb throttle will give you speeds up to 20 miles an hour. So the effort to do 14 miles an hour is moderate. 15, of course, when you get going, the momentum carries you a little bit. 16, 17, let's move up to level one. Same effort. I'm able to spin faster, but I'm not putting out any more effort. And as you can see, I'm doing 22, level two. I'm trying to maintain the same effort. I'm doing 23 now, 23.5, level three, 25.6, 26. Again, I'm able to, it just allows me to spin faster using the same amount of effort. So this is a pretty long grade. I'm using a little more effort than I was previously on the flat stretch. The next level is level S as in sport. Now we're going up. So this is a better test. Quite a bit easier to maintain 22, 23. And this is really where an e-bike shines. It just flattens the hills. Okay, I'm gonna go to the highest level now. Level R as in race. And as soon as I hit R, I could feel the extra boost in my cranks. It just, it just made the hill completely go away. It was as if the hill wasn't there. So let's talk about who this bike is not for. This is not for somebody who just wants to ride casually around a park, tool around it 
you know, 10 to 15 miles an hour could certainly do that, but why waste the money? You, you can get a bike that will do that for less money. And then what about where it can go? Can you take this bike to the beach or off-roading, on dirt trails, that sort of thing? It's front suspension only. It's a hard tail, so it can do pack trails, and, and we rode in Pismo Beach, we rode on the pack sand. Right, we rode on the pack sand, but we couldn't do, on his bike, loose sand or yeah. really wet sand. Yeah, um, it started getting pretty squirrely once if the sand, you know, once you got into the softer stuff. Right, and then we also did some gravel. Do you remember when we were in Cottonwood, we were in this area that was gravel and you actually fell because it was too much loose stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I, uh, I washed out and, and uh, yeah and, and went down yeah so if you're into off-roading this is not the bike for you it's better for paved or for trails that are well groomed okay so you've had this bike for 18 months you've put over a thousand miles on it what are the downsides there really is no downside that i can see um i had a problem with the battery early on actually not the battery but the connection the battery to bike connection uh, they took care of it under warranty and have since changed their design of the connection. That was the problem. It was a, it was a slight tweak that they had to do to the connector to make it uh, more robust. So do you recommend the bike? Would you buy oh, it all absolutely. over again? Absolutely. I would do it all over again, yeah. Uh, I would buy the same bike that I have. Um, and without a, without a question. Yeah, so we have some good news for you, whether you buy a Juiced Cross Current X or any other bike in their line. Juiced has provided us with a special promo code that will give you $100 off. It's gonna be down in the description. It is Liz100. We also have a link where you can go right to Juiced. So yeah, save 100 bucks, right? Yeah. Yeah, thank yeah. you, Juiced. We have another YouTube channel called Amazing Bike Rides. If you are stuck at home and you are doing your workout on a treadmill or a stationary bike, you will want to see these virtual bike rides. If you have a Juice bike, let us know in the comments what, uh, what your experience has been with the bike and whether you've had to reach out to the company and how they, how they treated you. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. And if you like this video, you'll love the next one. See you in the next video.